looking forward to hear is his cooking. I'll pretend I didn't hear that. Aw, oh, don't be that way. It's different when a girl cooks for you. I'm I'm totally not ready to start this episode. I'm like huh. in the middle of a couple things. But uh I guess they decided to start it for me. So uh I'll just I'll just keep going for now. Um welcome back to Final Fantasy XV. Um we've arrived back at the lighthouse area here. Uh, so that we can continue the story, because that's what I said I'd do. And that's kind of what I want to do right now. Um, as much as there's a few bonus episodes and stuff that I wouldn't mind doing, uh, I'd like to just carry on with the story, because I'd kind of want to get to the point where say, I can play episode prompto. Really impressed me today. With her outfit? Well, <laughs> yeah, that too. Oh, it's just make it choose. You want Aaron A or Cindy? The Empire was filled with nothing but jerks. She certainly doesn't fit the well, she's not necessarily really part of the Empire. She's a mercenary. She's I mean, okay with her loyalty is paid. Ask her yourself. Um, yeah, so we're going to continue with the story mission. I see. Yes, I see the time quest thing. I would like you to go away now. I, I get it. All right. Thank you. Um, yeah, I don't know what uh, what to expect out of today's episode. I'm just going to keep playing through the, the story mode here until we get... Uh, to the point, you know, you spawn in there. Till we get to the point that I can uh, do Prompto's, uh, what's it called? Stuff. His uh, bonus DLC episode. I think I already explored back here. Oh wait, is this it? No. Damn. Okay. Um, there's a there's a map piece. I think it's up top. As long as it's not on this elevator. No, it's up top. All right, let's talk to Sid. And see if he's got anything there to say. All are. Here's your weapon now. Oh, that's it. Okay, well, yeah, I give him that. I don't know if, uh... I don't know if I have anything else to give him for now. Straight, nope, doesn't seem like it. Okay, let's, uh, go up this elevator. Once you depart, you will lose access to the open world for a while, and rental chocobos will automatically be returned to the post. Set sail for Altitia. Yes, um, I'm going to do that. I'm just going to save up first here. Alright, let's go. I mean, it said the same thing last time, but it took, like, a couple hours. It wasn't that big of a deal. Oh, that was a weird running cycle for Umbra. But nice to see you. And that's my hand in your neck. What's Luna Freya got to say now? Waiting for you in Haltisha. Yes, I bet. You've been waiting there for, like, months. Uh, be there as fast as I can. Or getting ready to set sail. Or got it. Got it! Uh... I could say getting ready to set sail because that's what we're doing, but I'll just say be there as fast as I can because it sounds more urgent. I don't know. More sincere. Maybe. I don't even see him with a pen. I guess that... Uh, does it fit in there? Is it like a... Can you write it with a, with your fingernail? Is it like a thermal transfer, like a receipt is? By the way, if you didn't know that, if you take a receipt from most till, uh, cash registers... You can just, uh, move your... Oh, it's down. I thought we were going now. I guess it's a secret harbor, that makes sense. Um, you can just scratch your finger across it and write on stuff. That's how you'll see people, like, circle things. You can use your fingernail, you can use, like, a pen or whatever you want, but... It's kind of cool. Lots of people don't know that, and then when I do it, it, like, freaks them the fuck out. Is that it? Even the marshal came to say goodbye. Nope. That's good, because uh, we just had a whole thing with him. I'm sure he'll say hello to Gladio. So yeah, I came back from uh, Saskatchewan uh, last week. Um, I heard the is going on the boat with you. Oh, nice. It's a, it's a big ferry. I guess it's goodbye for now. It's goodbye forever. The Regalia is already waiting below deck. It's fast. I don't know how you got it down there. She'll serve you as well across the ocean as she did here. I mean, it's a car, unless Just there's something wrong with her. it. Exactly. It'll have your head. I guess it's okay, that's for the now. end of her cycle. I'll see what the end of Talcott's cycle you is here. Also, uh, anything. Jared's- Did Jared's you? dead. His, uh, his grandpa's dead. I- I have learned have that now. a safe trip, Prince Noctis. Don't you worry. I'm gonna be strong and keep everybody safe while you're gone. I don't want to be pessimistic about it, but... I don't know if that's a thing. You can do, bud, but you you do your best. No, I want to read. Oh. Oh. Something I gotta get off my chest. Uh, okay. <sighs> What's that? We don't have your theme music playing. I'm sorry. 
This must be serious. Sorry I wasn't there for your father. You might not have been able to help, though. I swore an oath to protect the king, but I wasn't strong enough to uphold it. But you weren't even there. Ain't nothing nobody could have done to stop what happened. Yeah. Interesting music. I realize that. But you need to realize just what you mean to the boys by your side. I do. Even if they can't solve your problems, you can't hide what's going on from them. It hurts like hell. Remember, those ain't your bodyguards. They're your brothers. No, they're my bros. Trust in them, always. That's what you meant to say. Bros. It's not the same thing. That was really good music. I really like that song. Um, read. Read the thing. Cosmogony, again. Ugh. Overrotted soil, underblighted sky, a dread plague the wicked has wrought in the light of the gods. Sword sworn at his side, against the dark the king's battle is fought. From the heavens high to the blessed below, shines the beam of a peace long besought. Long live thy line and the stone divine. Okay. For the night when all comes to naught. 15 to Nadir. All right. I, I'm assuming they're talking about the, was it the Star Scourge, I think is the thing that they mentioned at the very beginning of the game. It's a, it's a long way back for me to remember, so I'm not sure if that's correct or not, but I feel like that's what it was called. All right, so do we get a bitchin' ass boat? There's some water down there. It doesn't really... Could look a bit better. Um, so I was going to say, uh, Saskatchewan's... Saskatchewan's, uh, for those of you that don't know Canada, uh, it's the prairies, so if you think of... If you're in the States, then you can think of the prairies or the uh, Midwest or just the center of the country. Um, very flat. Uh, I don't know many central U.S. states. I want to say Kansas, but I don't know. That's like eastern, central eastern. Can I get on the boat? Oh, I have to talk to Cork, don't I? Oh, man, there's a, there's a fucking mission up there. Ah, oh, shit, it's at the top of the lighthouse. Should have noticed that earlier. Um... Uh, we were in Saskatoon specifically, which is like, it's not the capital, but it's like the, I think it's the largest city in Saskatchewan. Um, never have too many tools. if not, it's very close. Here, learn to wield not only weapons, but magic as well. I mean, alright, thanks, I, I already know, but okay. Just remember, it's a destructive force that doesn't discriminate. I suggest putting someone in charge of it. Me? Just remember, it's a destructive okay. force that doesn't yeah. discriminate. You're all done. Can I just jump on the boat? Do I do a jump talk? Waiting for an invitation. Who am I talking to? Get your asses on board. What? Okay. I was trying, man. I'm fucking you see me jumping against the invisible wall? It's a nice boat though. It's a nice yacht. Hey! Your Majesty! Why'd you wait so long? Walk Please, walk backwards. Back you can walk at the same Please pace that you're moving. All right. Yeah. Never mind. Count on it. It's definitely nighttime when we came down here. Nope. Oh. Is that the end of the, I, again? I was that f fucking close to the end. All right. Back in a minute, I guess. Just wanted to show you this picture here before we carry on. It's a pretty nice picture. This will be the thumbnail, but it's uh, it's nice to see the whole group that we've got together. Um. Like, it's just ten people, coincidentally enough. Yeah, um... Everyone... Well, I guess Cindy's not in that picture, which is... Kind of weird. Huh. I expect that mission up top is from her, but it's weird that she's not in the picture. Oh well. <laughs> the wedding day arrives, but alas, without the bride. Of course, we've come for the Hydrian, and you've gone to such lengths to prepare. Merely my duty. 
Ah, but for an outsider to lead the Imperial Army must be a battle in and of itself. You've spoken to Lady Luna Freya. No. That obstinate secretary standing in the way while you rush off to slay the Hydrian for your poor sister's sake. Not sure which secretary he's talking about. I know the price of the Covenant. Interesting. Oh shit. I'm driving a boat. You I'm know, on a boat. I've always wanted to go sailing like this. Not many opportunities living in insomnia. Out here it's just us in the horizon. Who's it's driving? This life changing. Oh, Sid. Sid is driving. Right, okay. To go until we reach Altisha, so can I move? Oh, I can move. To your heart's content. When we step off the boat, we'll be in a foreign country. The anticipation alone is a foreign sensation. Then to think this is where we were headed to begin with. We've been through a lot. And there's still more to come. So next on the docket is Leviathan. What sort of deity are we dealing with? A serpent sent to embody the roar and rage of the sea. We'll have to see for ourselves. Can't let Lady Luna Freya do all the heavy lifting. You must be so psyched to see her. I don't know if uh, I'm on a set path or not. Yeah. Because I am turning to the left here, need but... To make sure she's all right before anything else. It seems Indeed. to automatically go back to the right. Our is top priority. Don't like this going down on Imperial turf. You think Lady Lunafrey is in danger there? The Empire did invade Lucis for the ring. I have no faith that ruthless ambitions well, will stop short. If you follow the movie, they also invaded when she was there. She was actually with them. The king helped her to escape, so that's why she has the ring. Does anyone know how Lady Lunafrey? Yeah, we saw that in the. It seems well, likely his Majesty we saw the the cutscenes from the movie in the game. The Crown City. So she's held on to it this whole time, all the way to Altitia. The ring is important, and so is Leviathan. But Luna comes first. You know, I was thinking back to our encounter with Ravus. Hmm. Do you recall an apparatus in place of his arm? Yeah. Yeah, he's missing his fucking arm. Seems he lost his old one in the invasion, but in its place. Oh yeah. Yeah. He seems to have acquired new power. Power. That would help explain how a son of Tenebrae suddenly came to command Niflheim's army. Now that you mention it, his strength did seem sort of supernatural. I just chalked it up to the Oracle lineage. His ancestry may be part of it, but that alone wouldn't account for his freakish strength. I wonder what could have happened. It's okay. You beat the Blade Master Gilgamesh now, so you're Lord you can beat him. You can beat anyone, right? His just gotta give you that Genji blade when I get a second. Then what's the big idea behind that? That his power's the same as the power of kings? I cannot say for sure, but I have my doubts. Ravus wears the sword, yet doesn't wield it. Hm. For all his newfound powers, he's still the Chancellor's lapdog, holding onto the enemy king's sword like some badge of honor. It might help if we knew what he was after. Who can say? What are the odds the Empire will crash the pool party with Leviathan? Consider it a guarantee. They felled a god to prevent Noct from receiving his blessing. They'll do so again. But we beat him to the big guy. Thanks to our friendly guide. <laughs> Never know which way that one's gonna move next. And the Chancellor. I can only move a little bit side to side. It's kinda like the Sometimes it helps. The like car called off his army and just stuck escape. on a track at the still moment. A creep about it. Well, feels like he's only helping us because he wants something. Yeah, of course. I don't know what. Reckon we'll see him again? Certainly hope not. Not your type? No love lost for phonies. As Gladio said, his actions are motivated not by altruism, but by self-interest. I still think it's very weird that the last time we spoke to him, I think, was around with Titan after he dropped us off or picked us up in that ship. So the next time he'd meet us would be across the sea. Yet there is the entire section for the the mithril. I'm wondering if that was almost like a like an error or a later edition, or like something with the script. I, I don't know. It was, it's weird because it was very distinct that he said, you know, we'll see you across the sea next. But yet he clearly had another part before that. Yeah, when we arrive.
survive in Altitia. Good thing. To him, it was his heritage. Is that what my dad said? Carrying a royal line ain't a task to be taken lightly. For it's weird there's not another thing, seat at like the, sure the navigation area After over there. King, I only ever saw his face in the paper. Wait. But I guess this is the more the luxury boat than anything no, else. But. I was long gone from the city. We must have been invited at least. Had a fallen out of sorts with your old man. Right at the end of the trip. You did? I was given to understand you stayed in touch. We buried the hatchet years later, but never talked face to face again. Should have paid a visit while I had the chance. Well, no use dwelling on it now. Got the regalia in the hold, but y'all yeah, stay in Altitia for a Where are we holding while, this? Right? Yes. This car. You believe so. It's underneath in at the back, case, yeah, it looks I'll like there's a hatch there at the back. Not that I'll have much to do, though. <laughs> well, with Cindy looking after the old girl. If you say she's good, she must be great. She was never afraid of hard work. Heaven knows she had a hard childhood. A hard childhood? He means her parents. Lost them both when she was little. It was big enough to understand, though. And to hurt. But you wouldn't guess that, seeing her now. Not at all. She's always so cheerful. Well, that ought to tell you how far she's come. So I wonder if we're going to see something with Aranea and Cindy or something, like them both being Highwind but like separated at birth or something because they lost their parents, who knows? I don't know. Because Highwind is always the air airship person and it's usually Sid Highwind. It would make sense if it was Cindy Highwind as well. Or maybe Sid changed his last name too, I don't know. Change of scenery ought to do you good. Well, I'm all topped out. Can't be far to Altisha now, right? We'll be there in no time. Nice having the wind at our backs. Lodgings are a first order of business. All work and no play? Makes Ignis a dull boy. <laughs> Someone has to babysit you too. Well, you're welcome to sleep in the wild. Thought you all talked out, Gladio. No hotel, but I know a fella has a place. Hey now. Westcom ran with Reggie ah. and me way back when. Yeah. Oh, was he the other one in that photo with the garage? If you watched yeah, uh, the King's uh, King's Tale, the the kind of sort of prequel arcade style game, house. you can see Westcom sure. was uh, part of the the King's party. He's actually in the pictures as well. Magoo, or, uh, Mago, that's the one. Mago, yeah. Nice. You can count on Old West. And uh, you'll recognize this area from the uh, Chocobo Carnival because this is the city that it takes place in. Um, also, the uh, interesting. Um, the uh, the Chocobo Carnival is actually um, there's there's not much new. Like, it's basically the same stuff. Uh, as far as I'm aware, there's nothing new, so... I'm not gonna be... showing off much of that unless I find something new, but I strongly doubt it. I think it's all the same. Um, I may play around in it a bit, though, to get some uh, items easier. Because I can get, like, the more difficult to attain uh, hunting items. What are you, the fucking Empire? You fucking Darth Vader henchman? We slowed down pretty quickly there. I got one. Here. How the fuck did you get on board? That's as old as they get. Seems in order. You may pass. Can I see you? Are you still present? I don't know. Prepared in advance. Could say that. Thirty odd years ago. That's what the guy meant by. Yeah, old. here's the main city. Lucky us, huh? That could have ended badly. It's uh, faster than I'm used to for this music, but it's good. Let's not go over the edge there. That'd be nice. I like the uh, the sort of aqueduct into the city. That's pretty cool. We're gonna gonna fucking T-bone that sailboat. That's way too close, man. <laughs> Jesus. All right, we finally made it. Should have been here like six months ago. Oh, I know exactly where I am, too. I go down here, find stuff, no stuff. Interesting music. It's like a 
Well, it's accordion, so it makes me think of, like, French, but I was gonna say Italian at first, but... Um... So I was gonna talk about Saskatchewan, uh, what I was gonna say is... Was it check? Oh, was it the map? Uh, Saluna? Cascades and g g Gourmet Tour. I was gonna say government? I don't know. Uh, the fish market in the Muskia district overflows with fresh seafood caught with in, caught in the Allural and Sigillian waters. Okay, that was this, right? Nope. Uh, the city offers a wealth of dining options. Many restaurants serve fresh seafood straight from the port, preparing it with their own unique methods and seasonings. Try a few places and find your favorite. That would absolutely be the first thing I would do if I was here in real life. I, uh... What's next? I might do it. I might try. What do you mean? If There's that's an actual more? thing I can do, but I don't think so. Um, so Saskatoon, uh, Saskatoon was cool. Um, there, they do have a lot of good food, but more it definitely. Please, uh, use the other counter. What fucking vessel? Oh, that one there. My vessel. Um, it did. It did make Sorry, me uh, realize what is the that. Uh, of your visit? Purpose, to, uh, to fuck everything up. What do you think? Um, I mean, I should leave it to Sid, but may as well ask Ignis. Ignis, a little help? Oh, utterly hopeless. I don't. I don't know why I couldn't we just say something. Of the Arts, Interesting. To study the renowned cuisine of your fair nation. <laughs> I guess Is that would that be Ignis's so? reason. I wish you an enlightening stay. Another one you owe me. <laughs> we'll we'll take some cooking lessons together. Um. Oh. What the fuck? You want to check West okay. place out? Yeah, yeah, but I mean. Let's all go to Mago. Perhaps we'll even make it in time for tea. And we'd better start looking now. All right. I'll be doing that next time. Um. Saskatoon was cool, but I was gonna say it made so, me uh, we're looking for the guy from the made me realize that Vancouver has such a wide variety of food. Like I, I kind of already knew that before, but it just reinforced the fact. I've been to other countries and stuff, but the food there is still usually a little bit varied, especially because it's stuff that I'm not used to getting here. Like it's uh, it's you know, it's not North American stuff usually. Uh, the gondolas of Altitia run along the city's main wa many waterways. Yes, I know this from the carnival. The stops located near major attractions such as Listro Park and Arena Galviano. Uh, they are a great choice for tourists, please. plus the elevated waterways offer spectacular views of the city that should not be missed. Great. Um, oh, there's another one over here. Conveniently located near a gondola stop, our hotel, yeah, the, 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 the Laville, our hotel is the perfect base for exploring Altitia. Luxuriant, luxuriant. Alright, luxuriant in the comfort of our... I guess that's a word. I, I don't know that as a word. I mean, uh, luxuriate in the comfort of our spacious and well appointed suites. All right. Um, so, yeah, Saskatoon just made me realize how much of a variety uh, of food Vancouver has. Like, especially because we're on the West Coast, we have a lot of seafood and stuff, which definitely helps. And there's a lot of. Uh, a lot of immigration over here as well, which brings a lot of cultures <gasps> together, the and uh, they bring their their culinary the foods Westwood? with them as well. What? Culinary foods, Wasn't their culinary her uh, abilities well, and uniqueness with them, which is great. I fucking love all the different oh, kinds of food I can have could here. That be the dress we read about in the papers? The dress? The designer's name is the same. Want to check it out? What? That depends on the groom. Might still be a sore spot. What with his wedding getting What's this dress off? you're talking about? I don't Says even remember. Call it back on. It can still happen. True enough. Let's keep an eye out for it. All right. How about the cafe in the brochure? Anyway, uh, I will uh, carry on next episode. Uh, we will continue from here, and I will probably talk about Saskatoon a little bit more. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye.